Well, the next thing that we will see is um, is an example with XArcs that we use quite often, and this is um, the combination of the find command with XArcs. So in Linux there is a command called find that allows us to search in folders and subfolders in the whole hierarchy actually um, to locate some file. So for example, with some pattern, this 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 is important. So the syntax to find is find where, so this should be a directory, and then some flags here, some options. Then the minus name and what to search for. So a pattern of the file. So for example, this one will search for all txt files, all files sending txt in the current directory and in all its subdirectories. So let's see if there is anything. Okay, there are several of them. Now oh, it's better maybe to use for fa. So fa files, it's fasta files that may exist in this directory or any of its subdirectories. And I have to say that it's important to use the quotes here because otherwise I have uh, the impression that um, it's, let's see if that's not working together. Let's see how many fa files it will find. Forty-four. It's the same, but let's see something. Uh, I'll just make a FA file here. Okay, so now there is the XFA file in the present directory. If I will do this one. Okay, so there is this, as you know, there is this x.fa in the current directory, and if I will use this command without the quotes here, it could just not go inside the subdirectories to search for that. On the other hand, if I will just do it like that, it will go inside all the uh, subfolders to search for this pattern. So if you want to search for something in the current directory where you are, you don't need actually to specify the here uh, directory, present directory, it will just do it automatically. Very often we use the minus i flag here to search for case insensitive patterns. So dot fag with small letters or dot fag with capital letters, it will be the same. Okay, now this is for the fa command and uh, for the find command. Uh, and quite often we use the find command in combination with um, the XRs. So for example, let's say that what we want to find is um, how large each of these files is. So, grep, uh, so xargs. Now, the output of this command it will be a file, and we need to send it somewhere here. And we can use the ls minus s flag for that. So, ls minus s will uh, just report next to a file name, its size. There is maybe h, the minus h flag, to, uh, spe to, to do it in human readable format, and let's see what the output could be. 
old, let's just remove the age because I'm going to sort it. So in bytes now, this is 100 bytes, yeah, it's correct, 100 kilobytes, and this is several megabytes. And I can sort it now using the sort minus k minus g, which means that I will sort it, I will sort this list based on the first column numerically. So that minus k1 means sort this list based on the first column and treat this column here as numbers. And I see that these are the largest files here and up here I have the smallest files. So again to explain this, the find, find minus i name star.fa will just find all the fa files within the uh, subdirectories of the current directory. We'll keep these names here and we'll send them as the last argument in the ls-s command using the exarchs. And then this list will be sorted based on the first column which is the size of the file. It will be exactly equivalent if I would use here the minus i and specify the pattern here. The location of the argument. Okay, so this is about how to use find with exarchs and something that we that we use in uh, Linux quite often. Thank you very much.